Hey, so it's officially fall and I wanted to do some baking. Um, I asked you guys on my Instagram what you thought I should bake, whether it was a banana or pumpkin, and most of you guys said pumpkin. So um, I'm really a fan of this pumpkin bread recipe and I thought today I would make it into muffins with like a streusel topping. So it's gonna be really sweet and pretty naughty um, and it should be a lot of fun. Um, and I thought that this shirt was appropriate even though um, technically I'm gonna be making it better, but you know. You know. Oh, um, and on my last video, one of you guys suggested that I go ahead and put the recipe down at the bottom in the comment section. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to make it easier for you to follow along. Um, but so if you guys, if there's anything else that you notice or you see, um, I'd really love your input because I'm really new to all of this. And so if you've got a suggestion, um, please make sure to go ahead and leave it in the comment and subscribe. First up is streusel. So I've got a cup of flour. Uh, I've got one melted stick of salted butter, two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar, um, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. So you're just going to go ahead and mix all of that together. Okay, just like that. And then you're just going to want to use your hands or a fork or whatever you're comfortable with. And kind of mix it together until it starts clumping. Clumping, clumping. Okay, so now let's make our muffins. All right, so I've got two cups of flour here and I'm using AP, but you could easily use whatever flour you wanted, like whole wheat. Um, and then over here, I've got two teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon each of allspice, nutmeg, and pumpkin pie spice. Um, a teaspoon of baking soda a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder, and I've also got a half a teaspoon of salt in here. Um, and then I've got one cup of um, granulated sugar under here, plus half a cup of brown sugar. Um, there is, over here, is three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I've got three large eggs and one 15 ounce can of pumpkin. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do to make our muffins is to mix together all of the dry ingredients except for the sugar. So that's the flour and the baking soda and salt. And then all of your spices are gonna go in there. And now you can sift this like the traditional way using a sifter, um, or you can just use a whisk. It's effective and saves a lot of time and you're not using like extra equipment that you have to clean later. Okay, so you're just gonna go ahead and give that a nice mix until it's all blended together. And now in a separate bowl, you're gonna wanna put all the other ingredients. So we're gonna put in the sugar, the oil and vanilla. Ooh. Our three eggs. And last but not least, the pumpkin. Make sure you get all that pumpkin in there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing and just stir it all together. Now, you are gonna put the dry ingredients right into the wet ingredients. There you go. Oh, sorry. And now you're just gonna wanna go ahead and stir that all together. Mix and stir. And mix and stir. Alright, um, and so last but not least, I've got a cupcake pan that's nice and lined and ready to go. Um, and I like to use an ice cream scoop when I fill up my cupcakes, um, just because it makes them a little bit more even. It probably still won't be super even because I'll go back and add like any extra batter that there might be, but you know, it's a nice thought. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and fill all of those little muffins. So yeah, this recipe actually yields quite a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and like fill in some of these ones that aren't quite as full. And now 
now they're gonna go into the oven that I've got at 350 degrees. Um, and I'm gonna check on them in about 10 to 12 minutes, um, but they'll be done when you insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. What am I doing? I completely almost forgot our topping. That would have been such a bummer. Okay, so our strudel topping that we put aside, streusel, streusel topping. Okay. Now it's like nice and sandy because that butter is hardened. So you can just kind of go ahead and make as big or small clumps as you want on the top of each one of your little muffin babies. Well, this is a lot of streusel. It's going to be really sugary. So you can just get that crumbly, sugary, crunchy topping on each one of them. Oh my god. I'm gonna eat all of these. Okay, now they're ready to go into the oven. So I ended up baking my muffins for about 20 minutes and I've just pulled them out and they look really good. Ugh, look at that. <laughs> it's like just fall you know what I mean I really hope you guys try making this at home um, and I had a lot of fun today thanks for stopping by and again if you guys leave comments and let me know um, what you'd like to see next time or if there's anything that I did wrong or that you think that could be done differently uh, let me know <laughs> take a bite What do you think? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Can I have a bite? Yeah.